morning, wherever you are. I, am, I pray that we meet you in good stead as we now have our devotion from my dear sister, my friend, Sister Alison Brown. Alison, it's your turn. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning to all the listeners. Good morning to our special guest. Let us speak to the Lord in, in the beauty of holiness. Oh, Father in heaven, we thank you for being glorious. We thank you, Father, for being our Father. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us your word. Because of your love, you have given us the truth. Because of your love, you have shared all that you are, all of your character with us, so that we too can emulate you, can be just like Jesus, and can be perfect. This is, this is your will for us. So Father, let us all, let all those who listen, let all those who understand, and let all those who do not understand come to a beautiful understanding today of all the things that you have decided to impart to us. This is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning, I read from the Psalms again. I love the Psalms. I love David. And I love his humility. I love his strength. I love that he can wrestle with lions and trample on serpents. And I love those things, for it is something that I desire for myself. He says, give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory new due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the Caesar, cedars. Yes, he breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. What a powerful voice. What a powerful voice. And this is power due to the fact that God is not a man. God is a spirit. And this is the spirit of love for it is written that God is love. What power comes behind this love? What makes this love so powerful? What makes this the spirit so endearing to us, to our hearts. What makes us hear? What makes some men not hear? How, how is it? How is it that some hear so clearly? Well, I found out when I went to the cross. It seemed as if one thief didn't hear, but they both heard. They both heard that Jesus was their savior. They both heard, both of them, and they both made a choice. And one said, oh, Jesus, I deserve to be here. That's what I say. I deserve. I deserve to be on the cross. And that thief said to the other thief, we deserve to be here, but this man has done nothing. And that's the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit enables us to hear clearly. And because he heard in faith, he believed, he accepted that Jesus was on his way to prepare a mansion for him. And he asked, remember me, remember me. But the other man, it seemed, wanted his mansion here. He wanted to be great on the earth. He wanted to be, he wanted the power of Jesus to work for him here. Yes, the power of Jesus works for us here, but it is to prepare a mansion, not for ourselves only, but for all those who hear us. Just as we have heard Jesus, so if today you hear the voice of Jesus, powered by his Holy Spirit, through all that you will hear today. And he says, this is the way. Walk ye in it. Heed that voice. For it is the voice of love. It is a voice that wants you. It is the voice that needs for you to accept. He's, he's hungering and thirsting for you to accept him. 
for he loves you so, so much. Accept his call today and come unto him. Come unto him. No matter what, what fold you belong to, he says, my sheep are of all the folds. I have sheep in every fold. So he says to you today, come out from among them, my people, come out. And let me be your good shepherd. This is his word for you today. In Jesus' name, amen.